a new filament you're gonna wanna check out. What is it? It's today's video and it's coming up next. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again, it is DW Darkwing Dead. I wanna thank you for popping in and checking out today's video. If you're like me and you're a big fan of 3D printing before you leave, make sure to click that subscribe button. Come back and see some of the other 3D printing videos I have on deck. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some new filament by a company that goes by the name of Ujoy Bio 3D. Ujoy Bio 3D specializes in bio-based degradable materials and green materials. It's been leading the way in the industrialization of biodegradable materials and environmentally friendly products for years and is now offering eco-friendly options in the 3D printing community. They offer some great options for FDM printers, including their Hyper Series PLA, their Metallic PLA, and their Elite Series PLA, which includes a wide variety of colors and finish options. I was lucky enough to get my hands on a couple rolls of this courtesy of Ujoy Bio 3D, and I'm happy to share my experience with you here today. Now that I filled you in a little bit with Ujoy Bio 3D, let's take a look at the filament, take a look at some test prints, and the results. Let's go. Upon arrival of the filament, the first thing I noticed was it came packaged very nicely. The boxes weren't crushed or damaged, so very happy to see that. Now let's see what filament we're working with here. So first up uh, is a roll of their Metallic Silk PLA and then their Hyper Series PLA. Uh, we'll crack these guys open and see how they look. First, the Hyper Series uh, in a cool blue color, as seen here, very nice. Uh, they have the recommended temp and printing speeds on them. I also noticed it's vacuum sealed very nicely, uh, which will definitely save some time not having to dry the filament due to potential moisture absorption. Of course, being a green company, they are using the cardboard spool. Uh, so happy to see that it does have the weight meter on there so you can see how much filament is remaining on the spool. Uh, it, it's just such a great thing to have. It just ensures you that you're not gonna run out of filament while printing and, and nothing's gonna get wasted. So very cool there. Uh, taking a look at the other roll, uh, it's a nice silver finish here uh, in their metallic line. And just like the first roll, it has the info, the weight meter, and it is vacuum sealed. Very nicely, and uh, we're pretty much ready to go and to get print with these two. So let's get the printers fired up and get things going. Another thing I noticed right off the bat while I began printing with these is the spools were tightly wound and there was no tangling whatsoever. It loaded nice and easy and I immediately began testing on some of my clipper based printers. Now I started off simple uh, with kind of test prints in a sense and I made some tree fidgets for the upcoming holiday. Both filaments were printed around 300 millimeters per second, 205 degrees for the hyper PLA and 210 to 215 for the metallic. Overall, there was no major issues to report. You can see the fidgets turned out really great. At a 0.2 layer height, they came out really clean, contoured, and work awesome. My kids have been playing with these for about a week now, and the filament is very durable, and the color combo is great for this time of year. So now that I got accustomed to the filament, I wanted to do some individual testing, particularly first on the metallic silk PLA. So here I started printing a Megatron Flexi uh, at the max 220 degrees. Uh, although it came out good, I'd probably refrain from going that high. Um, it still looks pretty good, but you can definitely see some color variants and zebra striping and stress uh, on the top layers. Um, this was only printed at 150 millimeters per second. Uh, so this is something where when you print a little bit slow, you also might wanna drop your temps. Of course, this isn't the filament's fault by any means. It's just something that I wanted to test out and show you. So I thought to myself, how clean can we get this metallic filament to print? Well, after a quick temp tower test, I noticed the best was looking around 210 degrees. So I went just below the recommended speed and printed this Dr. Doom bust and man, did it come out awesome. At a 0.2 layer height, this thing is so clean and crisp. Uh, I printed the base at 350 millimeters per second and it still came out flawless. So now that I've seen a little bit of what this metallic PLA is capable of, I wanted to push the limits of it. So I went ahead and printed this MF Doom mask at 500 millimeters per second at 215 degrees based off another temp tower that I did with the adjusted higher speed. Very happy to say that the print itself, it came out very clean and defined. Uh, there was no zits, there was no major impurities for the most part. However, there was some zebra striping and color banding in the print in some random areas. So although structurally uh, the print came out with no major impurities, 
You know, when we print with silk, we want that nice, smooth, shiny finish. You don't want to print at this high of a speed. Just bump it down just a little bit. 350, 400 millimeters should be okay. And again, this isn't the filament's fault. Uh, we've seen how clean it can print. And silk metallics, you know, typically they always are going to need to be printed at a little bit slower of a speed. But hey, even when maxed out, you can see structurally the print still came out pretty good. So good that I used the entire roll and I'm still printing a few things here with it today. And I'll make sure to share those projects with you when they're completed. Now the Hyper PLA I had zero issues with, no matter the speed or the temperature. Um, some mild banding on it, but that can occur anytime you start hitting max temps and speeds. One thing that was really impressive on the Hyper PLA was its flexibility and durability. Uh, here I made a Christmas ornament, again, printing it at over 400 millimeters per second. Came out looking great. Uh, well, I printed the same file using another brand filament and wow, um, just first looks here, lots of stringing. Doesn't look as clean, especially when compared side by side, but that's not even the beginning. Uh, so here's a failed ornament. And when it failed, I got a little bit frustrated and I grabbed it and tried to crack it and, and it wouldn't. So, so check this out. Look how it just flexes and bounces back. Same thing on the successful print. Now let's take the other ornament printed in another brand of Hyper PLA. Wow, <laughs> that didn't take long. Absolutely crumbles apart. This Hyper PLA is super, super durable and flexible. It's almost like a 3D printed stress ball. It just flexes and goes right back. And again, here, the Ujoy Bio 3D filament, super durable. The competition, not so much. Okay, but let me show you something that's really impressive. So I'm really gonna crank on this here and squeeze the heck out of it until it breaks. How hard did I have to squeeze it? Well, pretty hard, you know. Obviously, it's plastic, so eventually it will break, but it took it, it took a good amount of effort to get this to break, let me tell you. Finally, when I got it to break, check out this comparison. The other brand snaps, no problem. The Ujoy takes like three times the effort to break. On smaller pieces, it's even harder. The other brand, here, snaps, no problem. Ujoy, Yeah, that, that took a little bit of force to finally break. And both of these were printed around 15% infill, same file, same machine. Uh, so it's really showing you that not only do these filaments print great, uh, but those of you who might be using these to print things for cosplay or helmets or armor, stuff that you have to wear or lug around, uh, they're really gonna hold up uh, to all that wear and tear that they'll endure. And that's really great because, you know, PLA is obviously a little bit more easier to dial in. You're not gonna have to worry about jumping up and buying a more expensive of pet g you can pick up this ujoy filament print it just like you would pla have a nice durable awesome end piece when you're finished so overall i've got nothing but good things to say about the ujoy bio 3d filament uh, with a little bit of calibration and the right settings these filaments hold true now that i've given you a glimpse of what ujoy bio 3d has to offer and the results you can expect from them let me give you my final thoughts and wrap this up all right, everyone, well, there you have it. There is a look at Ujoy Bio 3D filament. I really wanted to show you uh, kind of beginning to end uh, the whole experience in a sense and just how these filaments printed when we went outside and pushed them to their limits, print them on different printers, what works best in both the highs and the lows of this filament, which for the most part were all positive end results. And a lot of the minor blemishes and instances that we did have in the prints, uh, they're all very controllable. They were all basically setting related. What could happen if you don't have the right temps or max out your speed with this filament? In addition to showing you the quality packaging features, end results and things like durability and general quality of this filament that I can happily say is getting two thumbs up from me. The silk filament definitely need a little bit more tweaks in the settings, but when you get those settings hammered in, it is an absolutely amazing, amazing filament. Uh, so awesome and amazing that, yeah, I, I use the entire roll. So uh, I'm not even able to finish uh, the project I was doing uh, because I was just using so much of it. Definitely a great filament. And also the Hyper PLA, uh, don't have much of that left either. I'm just printing some miscellaneous things here and there. All the stuff I've been printing here has been coming out really awesome. So really great stuff here from Ujoy Bio 3D. Make sure to check them out on their website at ujoybio3d.com. 
Also, make sure to check them out on their social media accounts. They have some really, really awesome holiday deals going on right now. For all you Amazon shoppers, they do have an Amazon store. I've left links of everything in the description box. So go ahead, pick some up, let me know what you think. And if they ask, tell them DW sent you. I'd like to take this time to thank Charlotte over at Ujoy Bio 3D for allowing me to test this filament. It definitely came out awesome. And I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in for today's video and watching. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Drop me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the prints. Let me know what you think of Ujoy Bio 3D filament. And of course, if you do love everything 3D printing in the world of 3D printing, click the subscribe button, come back and see me. And hey, who knows? Maybe you'll see some more Ujoy Bio 3D in some future videos. Well, that's a wrap on this video, guys. Like I said, make sure to check out Ujoy Bio 3D. Hit up their website. As their 3D printing product line continues to expand, you're not going to want to miss what's next. Speaking of expanding, I got to work on my ever-expanding list of videos I got to get done. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and click the subscribe button. Until next time, it's DW out. Later.